Okay, Bobby. I was thinking in the future we could have micro universes as like a thing that you play with, you know? You'd have a planet like the size of a beach ball for kids. Their little universe would have ants, and you would evolve these ants so that they could actually grow wool. And then you'd have little tools that you'd go down and you'd shave the wool off, and then you'd have tools to take the ant wool and make sweaters. Like little teeny micro sweaters for the aphids. And the adults, aphids would be way huge. They would actually be dealing with like bacteria and yeast and things like this teeny tiny one. This is my little project. It's about the thoughts and visions I have while going to and fro places. Mostly in a car. I was thinking about what would be the worst vacation to go on. Give me a top 10 list of the worst vacations to go on. Nah, I'm gonna stop it right there. I'm not gonna go down that void of negativity. Because you see, once you start having negative thoughts, they like to cling on to other negative thoughts. You know, misery loves company. Well, negative thoughts love other negative thoughts. And you just go down this huge void. Whereas positive thoughts, they don't care. They're content. They don't need anyone. They're just chilling. Negative thoughts, it's a whole slew of them. They like to invite over, you know, Roughneck neighbor. That little kid down the street beats you up, steals your homework. Standing head first on a mountain of desperation, flung into attitudes of digression, pestilence seems to be obscure with progress. Paradox inevitable with time travel. up this sweet system to get the world to kind of cope with negative things. I've been uh, devising a way of making worrying tangible. It's a classification system. It's uh, five levels of concern. From most concerned to least concerned. So it works like this. Level one would be the absolute worst. You wake up and that's all you can think about. Like, ruins your entire day. For example, you wake up in a foreign jail, missing an arm. Or you wake up on a beach, on an island, huh? full of zombies, Again? and horse flies, what the? and traditionalists. Level two are imminent problems that are on a time constraint. There are solutions to these problems, and although they're very taxing solutions, they are far more obtainable than level one solutions. For example, your house burns down, brake failure causes a total both cars. Landing you in the hospital. The nurse is nice until she's not. I 
was thinking about starting a new music project. Maybe I'll name it... You say that I'm psychotic, but do you like it?